Now this this tune is played by a brass band, not a guitar. Nobody else plays this on a guitar because you play chords on guitar or you play the tune, but you don't play both with all the instruments at once. This is played by a brass band with like six instruments, like I've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six instruments played simultaneously together, like this. instruments playing one note each all together you know anybody else who does that in the world well I'm the only one and that is because God's given me this talent because since I was 10 years old I've been writing songs to feed the starving people of the world now when I was 12, the manager of my band said, what am I going to do with all these songs that I had? Like, there was over 700 of them. Anyway, he said, what are you going to do with them? And I said, I'm going to feed the starving people of the world. I'll have 12 or 15 bands, and they'll play the music and make money out of the records. They'll be paid a wage, and the money will feed the people over in Bangladesh or wherever there was famine or people on no houses or give them a job like that just give them a broom and tell them to go sweep the street like smoke on the water I'm the only one who can play it on a guitar on my own that you got to have the bass player and the rhythm guitar And the lead guitarist. But I do all three all by myself. Like taking care of business. It's the same sort of thing. can't be done by anybody else. So either what I'm saying about my songs being stolen since 1969 and taking the lives of, well, how many people have died from malnutrition since 1969? It's more than I can count. And these people are the pillars of society. The crime of the century, like I said, back in 1969 and the picture of me and my tiny dance and my pen behind bars on the front cover of the album a picture out of my book because I was couldn't take one more step the Levi had me in a box I was the leading role in a cage and Pink Floyd sing about me because they know about the people on the gravy train that I created that was for other people not them but it's 50 years now since then and I really think that it's time that the poor and the needy, the widows, the handicapped, had the benefit of my talent. I've worked hard all my life. My arms are just about knackered like um, it says in Take These Broken Wings and Help Me Fly Again. I can't lift my sh arms above my shoulders because they hurt so much. That when my book of love has opened up, he will let us in, God, and yeah, 
maybe the world will understand what my songs were about, like rain on a sunny day, my words falling on your ears, and how um, I want to be with you everywhere. Um, my lyrics are everywhere. You can't see them. They're on the radio. They're still on the radio. They've got basically their own channel, you know, Gold 104 or Smooth FM. They all play my songs. But who's getting the benefit of it? Not the people they were written for. They're cold as ice. They're addicted to love. There's one man in love trying to save the world. One man in the name of love. From ABBA to ZZ Top, most bands, not all, but most, do my songs. That's what broke up the Seekers. There was Athel Guy and Judith Darren wouldn't do my songs because they said, no, those songs were written by somebody for a purpose. But the other one in, in um, The Seekers said, no, I'll do them. It's just a song. And they sang, I want to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. Well, I'm still trying. My word's still out there, but nobody's listening. Hear the voice. Try and understand it. Whoa! Well, what, what do you call the weight of all these lives on my back since 1969, but I'm still trying for their sake? Thank you.